Hello traders, this is Fawad Razak Zada, Market Analyst for City Index. Today is the 21st of May 2024. So the US dollar is continuing to consolidate inside a tight range. We've heard from several Fed officials, um, all of them cautioning against an early rate, uh, rate cut um, because of sticky inflation. But we've seen economic data in the US coming in weaker than expected throughout this month. And that has caused it to, to weaken in, in recent trade, um, causing the uh, major currency pairs like the euro dollar to trend higher. And speaking of which, the euro dollar is now consolidating inside this uh, short term bull flag like pattern. The path of least resistance is clearly to the upside since the break of this bearish trend line. So I would expect the euro dollar to head higher from here, uh, potentially uh, towards the 110 handle in the coming uh, days if the uh, recent trend of weaker US data um, continues. In terms of support to watch, um, this level uh, 108.50 has been tested on a number of occasions in recent days, but so far it has held on a daily closing basis. Below that, we have key support at around 108, which is where we also have the 200-day moving average, the backside of this bullish trend line, and a few other indicators uh, there um, as well. So for as long as that level remains intact, I think the path of each resistance will be to the upside. As you can see, the Aussie dollar has broken above 66.50, which had capped the gains in uh, recent months. But now that it has broken, it, this level has turned into support for now at least. And um, for as long as this area now holds on a daily closing basis, I think there is a possibility we could see a run towards the December high or even to the June uh, 2023 high of around 69 from here. Gold had a record high uh, the day before pulling back a little bit uh, the trend is clearly very strong and uh, we could see new records broken uh, as we head deeper into the week recently gold uh, broke out of this uh, falling wedge pattern which is a continuation pattern um, it broke out of it to the upside we tested the breakout level uh, at around 23 30 area which uh, we uh, covered in one of our reports uh, before rising uh, it has gone on to break above uh, 2,400, this level, which uh, it had failed to close above previously. But it did so on uh, Friday of last week. And that uh, close meant that we could see new highs as we have uh, at the start of this week. So from here, uh, where do we go? Um, I think um, the path of least resistance is clearly to the upside. So I, I wouldn't be surprised if gold were to rise to uh, 2,500 from here. We also have uh, these Fibonacci extension levels to keep an eye on, which could provide some profit-taking resistance. Out of the precious metals, silver is looking a lot more interesting because uh, we have seen a breakout from a three and a half year um, consolidation range in recent times. Last month, we closed above this uh, $26 level, which uh, was the point of origin of the breakout. Uh, that $26 level held, uh, leading to uh, another uh, rally uh, this month which has now pushed the price of silver above the key $30 level, which was a major resistance zone in the past. So with that level also broken, silver has come out of this three and a half year consolidation pattern to the upside. So we could well see significant gains uh, moving forward if the um, breakout holds, which I think will be the case. From here, 35 is the next psychologically important level, but that doesn't mean that we will necessarily get there or stop there. Um, so what's important is, is to monitor your key support levels and see uh, whether supports continue to hold and resistances continue to break down. So moving down to the daily time frame now, uh, Silver's bullish breakout from this bull flag was the trigger point of the rally. Um, and since then, it hasn't really looked back. Uh, right now, it is consolidating around the 161.8% extension level of this uh, move down from the April high at 32.10 or 32.13 rather, but we haven't seen any bearish reversal patterns yet. On the downside, short-term support comes in at 31.60, which was the high from Friday. So on Friday, we had this uh, thrust candle that led to that breakout. Uh, the high of that is uh, 31.60. And ideally, you don't want price of silver to go back below that level on a daily closing basis. For more market insights, make sure to check out the news and analysis section at cityindex.com. I'll see you in the next video. Take care.